Deep in the bowels of the internet lies a cursed place, Metacritic.com. This website contains critics' reviews for movies and video games, but it also includes user reviews, meaning thousands of extremely pissed off gamers come here to scream and yell about how much they hate a video game. Like this guy, who gave the universally acclaimed God of War a 0 out of 10. Or this guy, who said you should only play Mario Odyssey if you suffered brain damage. These user reviews truly showcase the worst temper and worst use of the English language that exists on the internet. And it is why nobody ever should, for any reason, Reason. Visit Metacritic.com. So I made a game show about it. I invited three friends, Failboat, Coney, and Simply, to a round of angry gamer trivia to see if they can analyze the worst user reviews and try to understand what these real human beings were actually thinking and feeling when they wrote these reviews. And it's only going to get harder as this goes on. Now let's get started. Hello, and welcome everybody to the Angry Gamer Game Show. Let's jump into the rules. Each question is worth 100 points. If you get it correct, you earn 100 points. That's it. There are eight exam sections in total. That's not true, don't listen to the whiteboard. The player with the most points at the end wins, and Doug can take away points from anyone at any time for any reason. Fuck you. Now, there are eight sections, as I mentioned. Guess the game, guess the series, find the imposter, hot or cold, chat versus reality, learn the pattern, critics versus gamers, and the final exam. We're gonna kick this off with guess the game. Each of these sections works a little bit differently. In guess the game, I'm going to show you a certain number of reviews of some game, and you have to figure out of all the games in the universe, which game is it? So let us start this off with the very first question of the guess the game exam. I've never played a game this f***ing good. This makes Soul Silver looks like sh this has to be the greatest game ever next to Over the Hedge on PS2. <laughs> Our next review, and these are all reviewing the same game. Don't okay, let Discord uh -huh. raiders and haters try to ruin your enjoyment if this game. These games are honestly the best Pokemon games ever released. Honestly, how do people just go to review bomb a good game function in the real world? <laughs> And lastly, from Mighty Berry, this game has so many negative comments. I am playing the game and it's fine. If your game behaves weird, make a new save and restart it. Contestants, you've got five seconds to analyze these reviews and distill them into a single game out there somewhere in the world. What do you think it is? I feel like it can't be Pokemon. <laughs> there's too many, <laughs> there's there's too Pokemon? many signs. Wait a minute. I just distilled. noticed a clue. All right, get your answers in three, two, one. Okay, everybody reveal. What was your answer and why? Pokemon Ooh. Violet. Okay. Pokemon Scarlet, Dragon <laughs> Quest. Doug Doug left a key clue that nobody else noticed. Please look at the username of yep, the top yep. review. Right, you saw the clue. You saw the clue. You saw the clue. That day. That's so smart. Yep. Oh, we day. did we did censor the dates posted, but there was a big hint there. And as Coney correctly predicted, the game is Pokemon yeah! Scarlet. Congratulations. Yeah. Coney has a deep and storied history with Metacritic, so maybe he'll be able to really use this to his advantage. I actually do. Uh, it's embarrassing. Embarrassing. Let's move in to guess the game <laughs> number two. First review. Terrible game. It represents everything wrong with the gaming world, in all honesty. It's a cheap, free-to-play microtransaction game of unbalanced and boring RPG elements. The fact that people take this game seriously on a competitive level is a complete joke. Those who praise this game are either morons or just need to see what a real video game looks like, such as Chrono Trigger or Metroid Prime, to just name a few examples. Don't waste your time with this trash b P.S. It's just a and the community is one of the worst and most toxic places online in gaming history. That's a giveaway right there. <laughs> if you like the game, you will want to get better and better until you are the best. This is what keeps everyone hooked on this game for years. Gameplay is good. Game can induce rage when you face opponents way better than you or when your teammates are too bad. Losing is humiliating. Also, the lore is good, but you have to search for it on the internet. Only start playing this game if you have good, controllable temper. And your final, the best PC game ever made because there's literally nothing else on this dog piss PC. <laughs> PC platform except this garbage game and other online gotchas. I think I have the answer. It got a little weak halfway through, but I think it brought I'm back so home at the end. Lost. This is a hard one. Everybody, right, please reveal your answer in three, two, one. What's everybody thinking? Genshin Impact, guess... Genshin Impact, League of Legends. Interesting. League. It's League. You don't I was fight. Th I, was thinking, in I was thinking League. League. Right? I was thinking League. Why? Why do you go Genshin over League here? I mean, the first comment had Genshin all over it. Second comment threw me off a little bit. Was facing opponents. I still think that might be the weak link in the argument but then it says and other online gotchas yeah. oh i wasn't looking at the dates the day uh, the dates are gonna not get you well out. well well and that's oh, why i no. am honored to say that coney got another one correct it's no. league of legends congratulations how are they calling it a gotcha it does not make sense at all i agree no, it's, it's metacritic those people don't know what those words mean they just throw oh, buzzwords into a word salad you gotta not think in rational terms right 
These aren't humans. Yeah, they're more gotcha. just kind of monkeys that played a video game and then vomited onto the keyboard. I'll go ahead and update my score for you on this. So oh, right, right. You don't right. have to. How does he already have 5,000 points? What is this, Yeah, man? you can just put it, put, put the 5,000 <laughs> Strike that from the record. Kony has 200. Let us move on to question number three. The first review for this game is microtransactions ruin this game. Much like they did early Diablo 3, until this game removes this feature, I doubt this game will gain much excitement past a couple of weeks, spelled incorrectly. Second review, a zero. This game is disaster. Emotes only to laugh at other players. This game made go mentally wrong. I just suit want to kill all of those 11 year olds who, 11 year old maybe I'm not sure what this, who make this game horrible. Eight out of eight oh. users found this review helpful. <laughs> and our last, absolute worst game, a truly downgrade from PUBG. That's not all. Community is awful. Probably one of the worst. The updates are now garbage. The balance sucks. And the worst thing about this game is that uncreative. <laughs> they ripped off PUBG, Apex Legends, Overwatch, Minecraft, and Rob what? Royale. My Such a shame <laughs> that this I game know. just what lost the potential that it had in Four out of four users find this helpful. These are very <laughs> helpful reviews. <laughs> Two, zero, okay. and zero were the scores. Dates are blocked from this one. Various clues are blocked at various times, but sir, a lot of users found these helpful. Could be good. How can you rip off that many games at once? Dude, those are all... <laughs> different Minecraft. <laughs> Apex, Overwatch, and Minecraft don't have like a ton of overlap, really. Are uh, they uh, reviewing uh, like Legos? All right, everybody, get your answers in. In three, two, one, answers in. Go ahead and reveal. We're seeing Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite and Fortnite. Fortnite 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 Fortnite, 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 Fortnite. Ladies and gentlemen, well played. It's Fortnite. Well done, okay, well done. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I realized I was thinking too hard in the last two answers. If I think it's gotta be it, it's gotta be it. Go with your gut. All right. That won't always work, but yeah, for now it's a good strategy the final question in guess the game let's look at the reviews what is this game that they are reviewing for a handful of us a company that knows their stuff for others puts out games like and on launch day you get very very upset because servers aren't running properly and you about but you keep buying and spending hundreds of hours in their games look i'm getting some coffee i wasn't <laughs> mentally prepared for this review just know that a solid silky smooth that rivals the art style is <laughs> and characters are fun and for the most part balanced. Cough. Never mind. I only wish they had more content in terms of maps and modes. I like the game. I honestly do. Eight out of ten. Oh, well. Review number two. The game is amazing. It's paid. Yes, but said all future content would be for free. So not a big deal. Plus, you get hours of amazing gameplay with friends. It's worth, in capital W, the price. I would implement some more game modes, but nonetheless, oh, it's a this. brand new game full of fun. Mm -hmm. Good mm -hmm. job, about half the users found that one helpful. And finally, game is not perfect, but close. Munch, stylized graphics, superb <laughs> voice acting, mechanical, sensational, fun, affordable, and very well optimized. I did not expect much of the game, but surprised me completely. Recommend, which not many people agreed with. Okay, I think I got it. I thought I had it, then a detail threw me off completely. Don't think too hard. Wait, yeah, you can't I'm overthink their thoughts because their thoughts have not been thought out. This is hard. All right, get in in three, two, one. Let's go ahead and reveal what's everybody saying. Splatoon. It's Overwatch, bit. Oh, look at him, Nintendo Overwatch brain. Overwatch and Overwatch. And Overwatch. You are no. correct. The answer is oh. Overwatch. <laughs> how did you even? I, I honestly don't know how you oh, got that. It's a Nintendo up there. How did? Oh, how no. did you get that? I, Stop making fun of me. It's because it's a paid and everything's free. I thought Overwatch yeah. was free. First one was like thirty bucks or twenty bucks or something. The I was like, free. Overwatch Two is free. It's easy. This it couldn't be. Uh, all right. Is Coney actually four for four? The hell. Hell yeah, I'm four Jesus for four. Jesus Christ. I, I honestly expected you guys to get about a quarter of the questions in total. So I'm very impressed so far. And failboats matching my expectations. Let us move on to the second exam of the show. Guess the series. In this exam, we're going to tell you the series that the game is from. It is from Mario Party. It is one of the Mario Party games. But we're not going to tell you which one. That's what you have to figure out. The first review of this game in the Mario Party series is actually from Game Biz, a real publication who gave it a 71. If you don't intend to play with with friends or family that much don't bother with the title unless you haven't played a Mario Party title before. What? I, yes, Party. of course. Game Informer gave this a 20. The only laughs come from knowing your friends are suffering the same punishment you are. They're cursing this to anyone within 
air shot just like you. And finally, I think we know, right? Yeah. <laughs> video <laughs> games life. Waking up bleary eyed the next day, our mouths taste like dry toads and the room smells of peach. <laughs> but that won't stop us from going to Mario's for another party. With so much to do, if he threw a party every day of the week, we still wouldn't get bored. Contestants, which Mario party do you think they're talking about? I think we all know, right? Can we all agree that we know what this is? Yeah. Yeah. Answer is revealed in three, two, one. Go ahead and flip them. The Wii U one, the one with what? the car nine, what and the Mario what? Party yeah. four. Wait, wait, I think me and Cody is the same one. That's a good car, by oh. the way. <laughs> I, want, I want to make sure the one with the car is the Wii U one, correct? Nine was Wii. Find wait, out. nine is Wii? Yeah, yeah. Nine Which is one Wii. has the car? I um, think it's mine. Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you it doesn't fucking matter. This is Mario Party five. <laughs> All of you guessed it completely. Whoa. People f hated this game, apparently. I thought yeah, five, five was, was like the, the one that people love. You're right that the one with the car everybody despised, but Mario Party 5, I think it's when they introduced orbs and people were just not a fan. And you yeah. had to like spend yeah. money to do the orbs. Yeah, 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 people okay. just didn't oh, like Mario Party 5. Of course. Except That's the one guy who loved Mario Party 5 for some reason. All right, next in guess the series. This is from Pokemon. It is a Pokemon oh, game. From Ninby. Original concept, but the gameplay is very lacking overall. Some people find it to be a refreshing change of pace and it could be worth trying out. However, overall, the game is rather mediocre. Another review for this particular Pokemon game from Golvera. People who but this game expecting an action-packed adventure are setting themselves up too disappointed and to be blunt they are just plain stupid the actual game for what it is is quite enjoyable for the first couple hours after that however the uh -huh. game becomes dull and repetitive it simply isn't entertaining enough to recommend and our third review fun game for kids not so fun for anyone else unless you played it as a kid they should definitely make a remake for Wii U I guess the graphics were all right and that's an eight out of ten damn What's that's a called? big hint I was going down the Arceus oh, oh. route Oh, oh, oh. Three, two, one. Go ahead and reveal. It's, it's gotta be. Snap! How the f yeah! how the f did you get Pokemon Snap? How did you figure that out? Simply is stunned. Simply, are you alive? Yeah, he can't believe that. It <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's actually gobsmacked. We gotta see the reveal from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got it. Pokemon that. Snap! Okay, well, ah, congratulations, we everybody. Yeah. Everybody got it. Well done, Pokemon. I thought I you were all f I thought you were all f***ed on Pokemon Snap. You know what it was? Dead. It was the talk of a remake, because they were talking about remakes yeah. ever for this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. he said Wii U. Man, I, I <laughs> no was completely thrown off yeah. by this one when we tested it. R very well done. Chat, you're going into emote only mode. Say your final words, chat. Goodbye. Cheater. Still rig. Cheat to win. Rig. Everybody is guessing it too well in chat, so I need to turn you guys into a bunch of pictures. If you guys know what it is, add me on Twitter. <laughs> Let's uh, move on to our final question of Guess the Series. This is a Mario platforming game, so none of the like sports or weird offshoots. Number one is a zero. Mario's in a downhill after Super Mario Sunshine. It's all similar. Bowser, Capture, Prince Seas, and you collect star or moons. You just jump, take mushroom, and a little grow, uh -huh. comma, more? <laughs> no! <laughs> Sometimes you in a galaxy or a kingdom or dream? More? Nah. Easily yeah, worth man. a zero. From Ray B. Meh. Ratchet and Clank beats it old school. That's right. I didn't <laughs> like it. Take that, Nintendo fanboys. Your precious platformer doesn't call it a candle to shooting stuff with missiles. Avast. <laughs> Avast is not really like a, like a shooting word, but okay. From Dave S. It's a great game. I really do love it, but I gotta agree. While some areas are very hard, a majority of the game is easy. I've witnessed or played all... The camera angles were a bummer sometimes too. Other than that, it was creative and enjoyable. And the final review, a 10. One of the most fun games of all time. Easy to pick up and play, but also some serious challenge if you go for all of the stars. I still rank this and as the best Mario games with Mario Sunshine in a close two. I have a guess. This is tough because like Ratchet and Clank comes up. They say moons, which means that this is after Odyssey. The strange things oh, afoot. It's all right, reveal in three, two, oh, one. Oh no, oh no. What are you saying? We've got Mario Galaxy. World, 3D World and SM64 all different. And the answer no. is Mario Galaxy oh 1. Oh my god. What? Galaxy? What? Yep. Talking about the stars, that was a sort of giveaway, but I guess they went back and reviewed it in the past after Odyssey came out. Close. You, you had good thoughts. I like the spread there. I'm surprised you have any ratings other than 10 and 0. Right, that's right. Like any nuance happens. is yeah. like not normal. Wait, hold on. Freeze frame that. Enhance. You can clearly see that Failboat wrote Mario Galaxy 2, but misspelled the 2. Therefore, his guess is technically Mario Galaxy, which means he earns the points accidentally. Great job, Failboat. Keep it up. Okay, we're going to go on to one of my favorite sections. Find the imposter. Ooh. I'm going to show you four oh, reviews. Three of these are for Call of Duty, and one of them is for My Little Pony. All right. <laughs> you have to figure out which is the My Little Pony review. The number one Surely. review is a 10. This game is clearly amazing. The graphics rival Battlefield 
Battlefield 3 and the gameplay is perfect. The plot is deep and epic. Each scene is heart pumping and serious. It's gotta be that, right? Review number two, a zero. The most nonsensical game in the history of the world. This game is trash. If you install this game, you have wasted your internet. Damn. Review number three, the only mobile game that has kept me logged in each and every day since its release. Gameplay is solid even on my tiny iPhone SE. Extremely optimized game. Would love to see it on Switch with crossplay. And the fourth review, a one, loot boxes and <laughs> premium currency, a toxic combination. If only this game provided transparent pricing, it might have been worthwhile. As it stands, it is not aligned with a player's best interest and is hoping to get you to spend vastly more than $60. Don't fall for it. Your options are A, B, C, or D. Which is the imposter? I feel like this is a bait. Right? I want to go A so I'm badly. I'm taking the bait. I'm taking You're the taking bait. You're taking the bait? Okay, let's reveal answers in three, two, one. A, B, C, or D. What did you say? Taking the safe D class. from failbo. B and B. Okay, and the answer is... Wait, why did Philbo put B? Hey, it is the first Wait, one. Hey, that is a hey, review for My Little it, Pony. Boy, that is a real review it. on the actual internet. It. Why did he say Battlefield 3? Not a no it. copy. You should have Doesn't make sense to me. I thought. Oh, you should have taken the bait, you dumb mother. I was like, it had That's to be That's clearly it. a My Little Pony it. review. It's obvious. It's a game for every pony. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to the next imposter. Three of these reviews are for a Pokemon game, and one of them is for Nintendogs. This is unbelievable. Okay. Your first review. A few irritating moments, like not being told which direction to go, or details on how things work. Had to keep looking things up to make progress. That review was from a dog. <laughs> The game is fun, but it's also a little too hands-on. I can't explore a new area without being bombarded by conversational text. By far, the biggest downside is the lack of super training. It was ditched for the more time-consuming traditional way of EV training. Oh, uh, yeah. Sounds intend doggy to me. A four. There are so many cutscenes. I played for an hour, and literally 30 to 45 minutes of it was cutscenes. In addition, the load times are brutal, as every time you enter exit a cutscene, there's a load time. Furthermore, they found a way to make the training school required, which, I mean, just kill me. And finally... It is a very good game. It does get boring sometimes, but then you wait 10 minutes and you are just addicted to getting on again. This is my second favorite oh. game besides Mario Kart. I hate this. I hate this. You're, this is you're so like hard. <laughs> this is psychological warfare. <laughs> this one's so hard because like every review could be like one word, right? It's like no direction, super training, cutscenes, and addicting. I get yeah. this is so hard. The last hard, guy dude. compared My Little Pony to Battlefield 3. <laughs> I, I, you're right. Like, yeah. B is two on the nose. Like, come on. No. Oh, I, mm. We all know what it is. All right, right let's guys? let's I reveal don't. answers in three, two, one. What is your guess? A, B, C, or D? We've got an A, we've got a C, and we've got a D. Congratulations it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, to it's gonna be, Coney. Nintendogs oh, is the final okay, review. Okay. Wait, no, I was wrong. Because look, I, I said- Sorry, simply, say. simply. I meant to say simply. Simply got the oh, points. Sorry, oh, simply, simply. Oh. My bad. I am a legend. I was like, I don't think there are cutscenes in Nintendogs, but I don't know. Who gets addicted to Nintendogs? <laughs> it's addicting. It's addicting. It's addicting. It's addicting. It's addicting. It's addicting. It's a dick and it's so fun. It is my second favorite game besides Mario Kart. So I've heard good. that before, yeah. That is Find the Imposter. We're going to move on to the next exam, Hot or Cold. As it currently this stands, is Coney is in the lead, but very close, very close. Hot or Cold, part one. What you're going to do is we're going to show you a review of Mario Galaxy, and you have to guess what score you think they gave it. Here's the text. Super Mario Galaxy takes platforming innovation to the next level. What is achieved with the technical limits of the Wii is no less than a miracle. The game's graphics still hold up even when compared to Mario Modern games in this day and age. This game is only rivaled by its sequel. The details and effort put into this game is amazing. The game is also complemented with one of the best soundtracks in the gaming industry. If you own a Wii, this is a must play. It has a great story with memorable characters. It also has a ton of replay value with extra stars that can be collected that aren't necessary to complete the base game. After collecting every star, you can experience it again with a special character doubling the game's already lengthy playtime. It's gonna be a six. It's gotta be a zero, right? Yeah, you only have to be within two. You've gotta give me a number from one to ten, and you've gotta be within two of it. Oh, within two? Within two. Okay. So it, so if you do a, if you pick six, you're covering five to seven. Yeah, so it's a range of three. Gotcha. Yeah. Reveal answers in three, two, one. What's everybody got? Five, a nine, and an eight. Okay, this user did in fact give Super Mario Galaxy a zero. Couldn't oh, tell you why. I knew it. I knew it. Doesn't oh. make any fucking sense to me. This is a real <laughs> review on the internet. <laughs> 
you do I keep that? To think with logic. I should I'm have like, gone oh, for it. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. You gotta take the bait sometimes. Why would he do that? I don't know. Are you think he typoed? Do you think he forgot to put the one? I That's feel like he did. Yes. yes. There's no way you write out this much passionate information and then fade to zero. <laughs> the dude is like eight years old and he thinks zero is like infinity. Like oh, he just, yeah. This is the best thing you can call. Yeah, he like loves know? golf and doesn't understand the scoring. This next review is from an actual publisher, Eurogamer, where Galaxy matches Mario 64 is not quite in its quality of execution. Alongside the brilliance of some stars are others which fall a bit flat, and there isn't the overall sense of implacable perfection that that game had, but in its confidence and originality. Now with this one, you gotta hit the number of the mark. Oh my god. This is so hard. <laughs> I got it. I don't like Doug's smirk. I don't like Doug's smirk. It's living in my head right now. <laughs> I, I love this game. Okay, let's reveal answers in three, two, one. What is everybody saying? Zero. Eight and 32. You mean out of 100 or? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. okay, 3.2 is what we're gonna say. And uh, okay. you're all wrong. It was actually a 100. Very critical oh, in the review. Still right, got a 100 sure. for some okay. reason. Can't tell you why. We have one final hot or cold. You have to guess what score do you think this reviewer gave Mario Galaxy? Oh, Here it is. I. <laughs> What's our spectrum? <laughs> Zero to 10, range of three. <laughs> Look into the soul of Simon G. What was he expressing here? This is a real I... human being who went and wrote <laughs> this on the internet. He took the time to go to Metacritic and to pull up Mario Galaxy and to write the whole review. Experience Let's get answers in in three, yeah, uh, two, oh my God. one. Reveal it. What's everybody okay. thinking? I, I, one, I, it's one, a ten, bro. I, and He's nine. It a ten. One, one, and nine. I think it's no. The answer is a seven. Oh, Nobody got God. it. How did you not what? pick that up? That's How did you worse. not pick that up? He clearly oh, said I. Worse. Are you not reading the review? I Jesus said Christ. I too. <laughs> That's true. I thought Simon was like a three-year-old, and I thought that zero is like the default. Like on, de he just hit. Oh, uh, that's a good bet. <laughs> that's that's, I mean? that's good like, thinking yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Too logical. Like typo, too but logical. Like, that's insulting. <laughs> Why did he just put I? You don't have to write a review. You can just give a, a number. Like he could have just said it's a seven <laughs> out of ten, but he chose to write a review for this. I'm surprised no one found it helpful. Yeah. Very odd. Next up is chat versus reality. In this Ooh. section, I asked my own viewers to give me fake reviews. I'm going to show you four reviews in total. Three of them were fake ones by my viewers, and one of them is a oh. real review written on Metacritic.com. This first one is for Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm pretty pissed at the moment because I came home with the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild. I doubt that it works with the Switch anyways. Okay. Okay. The second one, Zelda really ought to move faster, especially on his snowboard. It's too <laughs> slow and boring. Do they think I have all day? It's also really hard to be immersed in the Zelda universe when he can climb up perfectly flat surfaces by grabbing non-existent handholds. It's gotten so bad, I actually have to pretend to grab the rougher bricks and act as if I will fall if I grab the flat surfaces. I shouldn't have to go to this much effort to make the game work in a realistic way. Option three, I wouldn't recommend Breath of the Mild to my uh -huh. worst enemy, who, as it happens, <laughs> is one. now Nintendo. My weapons keep breaking, the controls are annoying, and I want to punch every single character in their dumb cartoon face. Gliding was fun, though. And finally, this game is unacceptable and unrealistic! How am I supposed to relate to Link when I look nothing like him? It's also super condescending that Link gets two girls to like him when reality no female has talked to me in forever. Zero out of ten. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I guess no one found that one helpful. One of these four reviews is real. Which is the real one? I feel pretty good about this one. You feel good? I also feel pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's reveal answers in three. I hate this. I hate this. In three. I hate this. Two. One. Top reveal answers. We're getting a B, an A, and simply with an A. The answer is, in fact, B. This person. Actually no. pretends to grab the rougher bricks and acts if they'll fall to make Zelda oh more realistic. God. What is Nintendo doing? I literally only chose that one because it was the longest. They're that's all the fair. same length. This one is way too wordy. Yeah. No, that's smart detective work. Oh, sorry, Zelda really ought to move faster? Oh, yeah. Zelda, Zelda, yeah, Zelda ought to move faster. <laughs> oh, I didn't uh. even notice that. Let's move on. This set of reviews is for My Little Pony, the video game. I'm one of these is a real review from a real person. Here we go. Number one. I absolutely love this 
game. Cranking 90s on kids is just too fun. Although the only Come flaw on. with this game is that it's too difficult to gather materials. In addition, it is very difficult to get touchdowns, especially if you only have half health. I do enjoy watching Ninja play this game, though. Well, the cats are finished. Time to go eat. Anyone want some? Yeah. Second review. Okay. I would rather bang my own mom than spend another second playing My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. The title screen alone was enough to make me vomit onto my new Post Malone Special Edition Crocs. Would not recommend the game. Totally recommending the Crocs. Okay. Option three. As a brony, I find this game offensive <laughs> to the MLP community. Rainbow Dash did not get enough screen time, and I thought it was so poorly made. Not worth it if you want any kind of pony-on-pony <laughs> pony interactions, if you know what I mean. And the final one. Pinkie Pie Bug! In the Misson, where you have to bake a pie for Pinkie Pie, she keeps constantly repeating, this is a apple pie, I want a pink one, and the game just suddenly crashes and then restarts from the beginning. Do not buy for your kid! Which one of these is a real review? <laughs> That's a concerned parent. <laughs> this is so hard, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, this is the most difficult. There's no way cranking 90s on kids is too fun. It's the real one. <laughs> cranking 90s on kids is never too fun. Let's get the answers in in three, two, one. Reveal. We've got D from Simply, C from Coney, A from Failboat. Okay. The oh. answer is A. The answer is A. Yeah. What? This one's like too, the A one is too on the nose. It's like way too on the you're nose. Right. Like they, was, they're like, I'm, although all of them are on the, <laughs> they're all drained. I, I don't no, know. No, 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 I think you're right. I think A is very clearly like a dude who wants to get the screenshot. I don't think it's a tweet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, yeah, I, I think there you're were right. tweets like won. this though. Yeah. Failboat moves up to 500 points. Now tied with Coney. Simply only one question oh. behind. Anybody's game. Why is he good at this? Anybody's game. <laughs> Chat versus reality round three. This is once again reviews head. for Zelda Breath of the Wild. One of these is real. Which one do you think it oh is? My, God. my kid was so angry with one of the enemies, Lionel, that he started chewing on the game cartridge <laughs> and threw up because of the taste. Zero out of 10. Do not expose your children to this enraging piece of work they call a game. Number two. There was literally one moment in the game where I was vaguely interested when the green dragon appeared. Otherwise, this was a steaming turd of a game. Okay. Can't pet the dog. <laughs> Edit. Can't pet the dog. And finally, Breath of the Wild is such a scam. I hate everything. I hate Link. I hate Zelda and I hate Dingle. Ah! One of these is real. I like closing my eyes and hearing like a theater of the mind kind of thing going on. <laughs> Just imagining where they were at when typing this. I can smell them. If they picked up one football, their life would be very different. Like this would have been, would have been very different. If they had ever been Cold exposed to grass and touched it. All right, let's reveal the answers in three, two, one. What does everybody think? We've got B, D, and C. Damn, Another total okay. spread here. And the answer is, in fact, B. It was no. the one where they only were interested when the green dragon appeared. What the f*** is the green dragon? The green dragon. When it appeared, it was amazing. Otherwise, it's what are you talking about? Was there a green dragon? Yeah, there's a green dragon. You must think the game sucks because you never saw the green dragon. I must have had a hacked copy. Oh, oh, you must have eaten the cartridge, huh? Let us move on to the next exam. It is learn the pattern. We are going to analyze one of these reviewers, try to figure out what makes them tick and what would they rate a game once we've seen some of their previous ratings. We're going to start off with We Is Bot 7. <laughs> this is a real person on Metacritic, okay? He gave Pokemon Scarlet a zero. He then gave Sea Monsters a prehistoric. <laughs> Historic adventure, a 10 out of 10. He okay. then gave Overwatch 2 a zero. You must guess what did he review Death Stranding? <laughs> One to 10. Okay, okay, okay. Peer into the mind of We Is Bot. What would he Easy. have thought of the game Death Stranding? Easy. The pattern is. The pattern's obvious? You've distinguished yes, the, pattern. the pattern. Okay. pattern is very obvious. I mean, you can see, if you just think about it, the pattern is so obvious between Sea Monsters to Prehistoric Adventure and Overwatch. Incredibly. Mm -hmm. All right, let's reveal answers in three, two, one. What is everybody saying? What do we got? 10, a zero, and a, a zero. 10. Okay, zero. so wildly different uh, here. He, in fact, rated zero. Death Stranding a nine. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that pattern is crazy, bro. It's, it's what? <laughs> now, in this category, you also guess a range of three numbers. So, Failboat and Simply both got this one correct with their guess of 10. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Okay, well, let's move on. Only one here. He's got a bit of a history. He rated Formula One 22, oh a zero. He rated Goat Simulator 3, a 10. He rated Bayonetta 3, a three. What do you think he rated God of War, the 2018 game? Coney, do you want to give us some background on only one here? Yeah, I have a YouTube <laughs> video about this guy. I 
love this guy. I love this guy so much. I'll give you a little bit of backstory after, but okay. I don't know what he rated God of War. Okay, good, good. As long as you as long as you don't know for certain what he rated God of War. I don't. Why do you know this reviewer like he's like an artist? I'm or so I'll curious. Tell, he is. He because is. He is. I'll tell you in a because second. Because he is. Let's reveal in three two, one, show it. We've got a nine, a zero, and a six. Fools. Okay, covering some interesting spread here. Uh, Coney, why was it a bad idea to go high here? Like 90% of the time, he rates games zeros or tens, and there is no logical rhyme or reason. I cannot believe Goat Simulator was a 10. But Bane had a three, a three. He did give a three. His average user score on the site is a 1.6. Oh, you know that off the top of your head, okay. All of his reviews are copy-pasted too. Every game is a steaming pile of garbage, lazy and 3D devs every time. He loves multiplayer. He loves cars. I don't know why he likes cars but so not much. But Formula cars. One. Yep, but not Formula One. <laughs> okay, he hates yeah, Formula One, but he likes Fortnite because you could drive in it. What did you guess again? Zero. It has you to You guessed be. a zero. The answer from only yeah. one here was a zero. Congratulations yeah! to Tony. I could have seen that go out of the way. What is this bias? Somewhat rigged Coney with the background knowledge, but as long as you didn't know God of War, I could have seen, if he went Goat Simulator 10, ban out of three, I could see it going up high. I could see it happening. Well, here's a newcomer that nobody knows for sure. GD's Reviews. <laughs> I don't That's know this me. guy. <laughs> Failboat, aka GD's Reviews, gave Arctic Thunder a two. They gave Star Wars Racer Revenge, a game I didn't know existed, a four. They gave Mario Kart 7 a seven. They seem to love racing games. What do you think they gave Zelda okay. Skyward Sword HD. Ooh. Frankly, the three other games don't give you a lot of info on Skyward Sword. No, they Sword. don't. This guy has some broad taste, though. GD's reviews is a mystery. A black box the rest of the world has been trying to crack. Go ahead and yeah. reveal the answers in three, two, one. Go ahead, show them. Five from Failboat, right down the middle. Six from Coney, four from Simply. Oh, my God. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. And the answer yeah. is... One! He fucking God. hated this game! <laughs> Absolutely roasted! Fair you guys God. know nothing about GD's I reviews. Show the man some respect! God. I it was clearly worse one. than Arctic <sighs> Thunder for, like, the PlayStation or something. I'm sorry, GD's reviews. I was not familiar with your game. Yeah, apolo me, apologize bro. to the man. Our final. Eustace CS. This user gave Anthem a 5. Okay. They gave Fallout 76 a 0. Fair. They gave W2K20 <laughs> a 5. What do you think they gave Valorant? Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Hated 76. That's a shooter. Thought Anthem, which most people consider to be dog shit. Decent review. And they're they're kind of mid on W2K20. All relevant info into the mind of you stay CS. All right, let's reveal in three, two, one. Show them. Got a one, an eight, eight, and a five. And the answer is a four. Yeah. No! So simply grabbed it. Well done. Scooped it. Let's go. I thought the whole point was like polish. All those games are unpolished buggy <laughs> messes. Valorant is like polished to a fucking Sheen. Why is that a four? Because he put two fives, so it had to be close to a five. Oh, uh, that's a good, oh, yeah, that's, that's actually a good thought. Oh, that's a good that thought. Good. good strat. He thinks everything's out of five, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Valorant, but I would have thought it's better than W2K20. Show us how little I know. The deluxe edition, Doug. The deluxe <laughs> edition. Oh, Dude. that was it. That was it. That's what I was missing. This is close as hell. Jesus Christ. Score yeah. is 700, 600, 600. Anybody's game. We've got about four more questions here. This one is hard. We're going critical versus gamers. What we're going to do is show you three games and what the critics reviewed these games. Critics gave Fortnite an 81, they gave Apex Legends an 88, and they gave Call of Duty Warzone a 79. Here are the three user scores for these games. A 6.1, a 3.3, and a 4.0, but they're not in order. You have to figure out the order. So oh write these three numbers down here in order. The first one, you think Fortnite is what the users reviewed Fortnite. The second one, Apex Legends, and the third one, Warzone. Oh my god. God, dude. I'm Reveal in three, two, one. Show them. Coney and Simply both saying that Fortnite got a four, then Apex. Okay, actually, a whole switch. Why don't you guys hold them up and we, we will reveal? Switched, yeah. The numbers are, in fact, 3.3 3 oh, for Fortnite. Users God. absolutely you know despise yeah, wow. Fortnite. That's a yeah, thing. Yeah, that makes sense. I think you got to predict dumb. how angry people get about all the characters in Fortnite and it being perceived as a kid's game, right? If it's perceived as yeah, a kid's no, game. I, true. And we should Doug, be clear 3.3 3 and 4.0 are both. Oh, the abysmal scores. People are oh. so angry at these. Let's not forget that. But fact. they're way more popular than Apex, so oh. that's why they're yes, low. Yes, yes, more course. people go there. They, they gave them a 4.0, but what if I give you a 20? <laughs> <laughs> he's in that the lead, fair. and he's. Bribing. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, interesting time to bribe. I'll do whatever it takes. Let us move on to critics versus gamers number two. Critics gave League of Legends a score of 78. 
Damn. Okay. Critics gave Dota 2 a oh, score of wow. 90. And critics gave Pokemon Unite a score of 70. <laughs> three popular moments. Now, here are the three user scores, not in order. 3.7, 6.5, and 5.0. Based on three of the most popular MOBAs right now, what do you think the users rated them? Oh, this is so hard. This is so hard, dude. Oh my God. If people here haven't been on Metacritic, the scores that users give has nothing to do with the quality of the game. It's just some perceived <laughs> grievance that they have against the world. It's totally yeah, detached yeah, yeah. from reality. This All is right. so difficult. Okay, reveal answers in three, two, one. Let's see them. Failboat saying League has the 3.7. Simply saying League has the 3.7. And Coney is saying you have three, it. six, five. Okay, so all of you starting with League being the worst, and it looks like then uh, confused about Dota or Pokemon Unite. And the answer is... No, people hate Pokemon wow. Unite. They absolutely despise this game. They're so pissed. Wow. I think it's just kids. Kids hate the game, dude. It's children. It's children yeah. just being angry, man. I really thought that League would be higher because it's been around for like 20 years. So I thought mm. more people over generations would drop zeros, but I guess they're also dropping tens. A hint I'll give now that it's over is that generally the games that are less popular, the users are nicer to it because they perceive yes. that they're the underdog, right? So for this last one, Zelda. Critics oh, gave wow. Zelda Ocarina of Time a 90. 99 out of 100. Critics gave Zelda Breath of the Wild a 97 <laughs> out of 100, and critics gave Wind Waker a 96. Here are the three uh -huh. scores for these games from users. 8.7, 8.9, 9.1. Now, they're, okay. they're love, right? Now, this, this one is like, you gotta figure out what are the most beloved Zelda games. This is just, there's no tricks this here. This is spicy. It's yeah, just straight yeah. up, what do you think the public on Metacritic loves Zelda games the most, right? This is hard. Yeah, this is just straight up debating the best Zelda games, right? Let's reveal answers. Three, two, one, show them. Okay, 8.9. So Coney and Simply both thinking that Ocarina of Time had the 8.9. Yeah. Let's go ahead and reveal the answers. It is highest rated no. was Ocarina of Time. Oh, that, was that was easy. Why would you go for Ocarina of Time is considered the greatest of all time? You gotta go for I, Ocarina of Time. I thought people would say it was Wild. overrated. Yeah, 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 that's fair. That's fair. Breath okay. of the Wild, though, I think it gets open world fans come in and get angry at it. Be like, that's just too overrated. That's the lowest I agree. Ocarina is like oh. Now, that, I thought Breath of the Wild was 8.7, but I thought like you were talking about like the 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 unpopular things you know what i mean i thought wind waker would be yeah. like people would feel like they have to prop it up you yeah know? basically yeah. what i told you last time was completely wrong for this and threw you off <laughs> yeah, so thanks for that. you're welcome <laughs> we're on to the last one ladies and gentlemen it's been a great heartfelt battle to understand the most crazy game reviewers on the internet chat you're freed up as well you can try to contribute what you think is the answer for this final one, one review is reviewing one game. What is the game? It's triple or nothing. We're 300 points if you get it. Oh, you can God. win if you get it. The oh, review oh, is oh, trash, oh, trash, no. trash, 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 <laughs> trash, 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 trash. It's a zero for Mark Laner. Oh, I got it. I know. Any game ever. If any one of I you gets it. it, you take the win. Otherwise, Failboat is currently in the lead with 700. Oh, you guys will never do it. No, I got it, bro. You need a second? You got to analyze? I got it. Simply, I'm, I'm waiting for you. Yep, yep, I'm ready. All right, let's reveal in three, two, one. What is everybody saying? It's Genshin Impact! Minecraft, Genshin Impact, and Genshin Impact. Okay, what, what's the it's thinking here? What's the thing? Any any logic to this? It's trash. Nope. Trash, 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 it's trash. It's trash. Just trash. It's just trash. It's just trash. Wait, can I can I change my answer just because he had the same thing? Sure. Unless you want to get off Genshin. No, no, no. I'll stay on Genshin. I'll okay, stay on Genshin. all right. You get I, off Genshin. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. I don't even know what else to go. I'll go Elden Ring. Now it's interesting. Oh, Elden oh, Ring. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. And? And ladies and gentlemen, the final answer. The game that is absolute, utter trash. Everybody Everybody here would agree is Mario 64! <laughs> trash, 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 trash. What? And let me point Wait, out that this was this written year? in March 16th, 2022. This is a recent, <laughs> this is a recent review. He came out it this year right to there. come drop this. And that means right there before I the whole congratulations time. Congratulations to Failboat. Ignore the text. Congratulations, <laughs> you win it with a score what? of 700. I'll give it up. Well done, well How done, well simply done. Simply not get that. That's his game. I'm keeping my I know, $20. But simply you had the clues. It was all right there. What are you doing? I definitely said that about that game as well. But. <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes the first ever Angry Gamer Game Show. Congratulations again to Failboat. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I loved making it. I really have had a lot of fun putting stuff like this together. And the whole experience, I mean, it reminds me of a, of a quote that I really like from the great Abraham Lincoln about Fortnite. No gamer moments. I died once. Zero out of ten. Bad, 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 bad